Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. In my last video I was talking about adding custom searches to the Firefox address bar so you could then say a keyword and then your search term and it would save you going to that website. Now all I'm going to do is show you um, quite a lot of examples that I've actually got at the moment and um, they'll be linking off to various websites. Now I'll leave the description, uh, leave the links in the description but the, they'll only show us home pages because what you'll need to do is actually go on to the uh, search box, for example, this is Google, right click it, say add a keyword for this search, to put a name in for the keyword and the actual keyword that you're going to put up here. So you'll have to do that. Now you notice I think two of my links say add manually. Now what you have to do is go to menu, bookmarks, organize bookmarks, new bookmark, and then paste exactly what is written into the location. So then it just uh, is a little bit more involved than just um, right clicking and saying adding new keyword. Now uh, you'll notice the name you can put as whatever you want and the keyword is going to be whatever you're going to put up here. So uh, let's get started. I'm going to just say several situations that I feel like doing and I'm going to search. So I randomly feel like uh, watching a video on YouTube on Britney Spears. I don't know why I keep saying Britney Spears but so I'm just going to say YT Britney Spears. It's gone to YouTube and it searched Britney Spears for me and there we go, here are loads of YouTube videos that I can watch and now so I didn't go www.youtube.com and then search it, just did it from the bar. Now I want to look at uh, the French version of google.com or I want to translate google.com into French. Just saying French google.com, it's gone to Google Translate and it's translated it into French. Recherche Google, j'ai de la chance. Yes, <laughs> um, anyway next, uh, I want to download an FLV player. Now, I want to get it from uh, a site like RapidShare or an FTP server or something like that. I've, told, I've talked about this website before, it's called FilesTube. So you see, I just said Files, FLV Player, it's gone to FilesTube, searched it, and there we have FLV Player 1.3.3, so I can download it from RapidShare. Now, uh, just a, a note to you guys who have been saying that you can't download these, you actually have to, might have to put the .rar or .mp3 or whichever on the end. But anyway, uh, let's move on. I want to watch a DVD, or, or I want to get, I want to buy a DVD tomorrow, or go and watch a film. Uh, this time I'll just say, I want to buy a DVD called Superbad. I want to see if anyone thinks it's any good, and what the cast is. So I'm just saying, movie Superbad, and eventually, <laughs> uh, I apologise for my net speed. There we go. Uh, the Internet Movie Database is the main place to look for movies. Superbad, it's got a user rating of eight out of ten. Some for the cast and screenshots. And so I can just have a look and see what I like. Uh, next up, I want to randomly look at images of a MacBook Air. And um, just go to images, go onto Google Images, and search for MacBook Air. So these are all useful things you can just do instantly, um, regardless of what website you're on. Uh, next one, I want to have a look at Super Mario 64 speedruns. I want to be able to download them as well if I can. So I've gone to Alta Vista Video. These are all things I've programmed, by the way. That's not automatic. You have to put them in yourself. This is Alta Vista Video. It searched Super Mario 64 speedruns. And you can see that I can download a bunch of videos if I want to. And they're quite long. So that was through Alta Vista. Next one, I want to look for a torrent of roll cage. Now, this is a game I was looking at before. And I'm actually hosting this on my site because I couldn't find it anywhere. And you can see there's no cedars there. There's only one cedar there. And you'll notice to search through the Pirate Bay. Now, this is just a skin. Before anyone asks, the skin is from Stylish uh, Firefox add on. Next up is I want to search for lyrics of Bohemian Rhapsody because I can't think of any other song at the minute. So I'm just going to say lyrics Bohemian Rhapsody. And it's gone to metrolyrics.com, and there we have the lyrics to Bohemian Rhapsody. And hopefully, when I click it, Try again, shall we? There we go. Uh, Queen Bips Bohemian Rhapsody lyrics. There we go. Excitement. Next up, I want to uh, find a definition of, I don't know, YouTube. <laughs> so it's just on a simple Google define of YouTube. Now I know you can do this in here by going define YouTube. You know, it comes to exactly the same page, but I was just doing it as an example for the keywords. Uh, next up, I, for some reason I can't spell rights. I say R I H D T randomly, and I want to be able to make sure it's spelled correctly. So I'm just saying spell right. It's gone to spellcheck.net, and it's saying, "Oh, it's misspelled. You're a retard." Uh, there's what the actual spelling is. Right. It's got a load of other ones if it's related. Uh, next up, 
is, what if I want to find an alternate word for bright? It's gone to the thesaurus.com. I've just said alt is an alternate word. Obviously, you can put all these, you can put your own keywords in. So don't just follow my keywords. So it's gone to thesaurus.com, it's put bright in, and it's gone a blaze, a glow, a light, argent, or rural, or whatever. Uh, yeah, so that's um, thesaurus.com. Now, next up is I want to buy an Asus EEE PC, because I actually really do, and I'll probably be getting one quite soon. Um, so it's gone to eBay because I like eBay and I'm signed in already and it searched ACC PC and I can now see if I can find a really cheap one, the second hand that someone's broken. <laughs> so um, next up is uh, I want to know for some reason where Southampton is in the UK. I'm just going to say map Southampton, it's gone to Google Maps and yay I now have a map of Southampton that I can zoom in and out from if I really want to. So that's a quick way to have a look there. Next up, I want to find what, what, what a podcast is, and I want to look at the Wikipedia article for it. So, Wiki Podcast, it's gone to wikipedia.org, and there we have podcast, and we've got everything about it, blah, 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 a bunch of stuff. And again, this is using a black theme before anyone asks, using the stylish Firefox add-on. So, next one is, I want to, you know normally when you go into, when you want to ping a website, you go start run, cmd, and then ping www google.com and then you get replies just to show that your internet's working because you're sending them packets and they're replying. Now, um, what if I want to do it online? Try it in this box, shall I? And it's gone to an online tool which uh, pings websites. And there we go, these are results of my ping query. And it worked. And uh, that's uh, from google.com, started that. So it's an online tool, so you can basically ping websites through your Firefox browser. Uh, next up, what about if I want to find the IP, where the IP of Google is and what internet service is running or something. I'm just going to say IP and then copy it in. You know, this has gone to internetfrog.com and it says the IP location is United States and I can look at a map if I want and it's connected to the internet through NW Internet Group. Yay! Um, so now I want to find out who's registered Google.com. So I'm going to do a who is and I'm going to say www.google.com. And it's gone to an online who is. Um, now, unfortunately, this didn't work before, I don't think. Oh, no, it did work. There we go. <laughs> uh, online who is, and it's got all the versions of google.com, .tr, .sa, and you notice they're all registered. <laughs> so, um, yeah, domain names in the .com and can now be registered with many different competing registrars. <laughs> so, that is the who is for google.com, and you can see it's done it. And uh, next up, um, I want to find the traffic because I'm annoyed because I can't get Google.com or anything related to it. I want to find the traffic rank of it. Traffic rank of Google.com. So it's now gone to the Alexa traffic details, and Google.com has a traffic rank of four. It's the fourth most popular website, and there's a bunch of statistics on it. And last but not least, I'm now peed off that I can't get Google.com or anything related to it, so I'm going to destroy it. And it's gonna it's defaulted to God mode, which I've set into Net Disaster, and now I can just go wow, bang, bang onto Google. Damn you for stealing the web page I really wanted, or the web domain I really wanted. Bam, 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 bam. So that's just a uh, flash thing. You're not actually doing it to Google. Don't worry. Anyway, <laughs> so that was a bunch of stuff that I just did uh, without even having to go to the websites and searching. I did it all from the Firefox address bar. It's very quick, very easy to do. Again, I've got all the links here of all the websites that I've used. Uh, all you have to do is just visit them, right click on the search bar within them, and then just right click and say add a keyword for the search. So uh, that's demonstrating the uses of the uh, search bar. So thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos. And thanks again.